What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. This is KT5 Vlogs coming at you. Make sure you take a moment to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Let's get this channel up and running and off the ground, guys. Let's see where we can take this thing. With that said, this channel is going to be talking about a lot of content creators and critiquing the critics of content creators. Uh, make sure if you go to their channels, view their videos of anyone I may be talking about in my videos, make sure you know that you show the same support to them with a like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys, because without viewers and subscribers, there wouldn't be a need for content creation in the first place. With that said, guys, let's jump right into it here. One of the critics that's really been stirring up a buzz lately is Ice Cream Vlogs. Uh, if we go to his channel here, um, go to his uploads and videos, you know, he's got a couple one-off, two-off videos on some topics here and there, but you're going to see a lot of this right here. Exposed for sale, exposed, 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 fired, exposed. You're going to see a lot of these little comment clouds out beside of their heads and his thumbnails. Guys, this guy just seems to have a fixation and obsession on self-made successful content creators and some of these even have other businesses and things that they're involved in outside of youtube but he just seems to have an obsession with them it's what they're spending their money on uh what they should be spending their money on and we you know why they don't do this or that and you know if they have raffles uh he likes to try to expose them and say oh they were given to family members and this and that when they do the giveaways uh, if they run a special on tickets for a certain day or two and increase the number of tickets in a package, oh, it's a scam. He's scamming the regular people that bought tickets a week ago. Just all of this nonsense, guys, that he goes into. You're going to see a lot of videos here about Mr. Organic. You see about every line has a Mr. Organic video on it. Seems to have a huge fixation with him to the point, I mean, I don't even think Mr. Organic could be in the same bathroom as him without him talking about what what it smelt like and what he thinks his diet is and how it's wrong. I mean, it's not, it, well, it, it is at that point, to be honest with you. Um, you know, he wants to talk about, oh, he leased his Lamborghini Urus. He didn't buy it because the website had it listed as a lease special. Oh, he leased his mansion. You know what? And we'll, we're going to cover this guys in later videos, but I mean, what does that really prove? You know, the guy sitting here spending 30 some hundred dollars on a Urus lease has a Rolls Royce Dawn. If that's leased, that's another couple grand. Um, he's had other vehicles, sometimes three and four at a time, the $10,000 a month home lease. I mean, if he is doing all the lease, what does it prove? You're just proving that he is well off and that he is wealthy and rich. You know, you're talking 18 to 20 grand a month, just in lease payments. You know, that's not counting living, eating, paying light bills, things like that, guys. I mean, you know, it takes a lot of money there. You have to be pretty successful to be able to afford 20 grand a month just to have a home and have some cars. I mean, come on guys. You know, I don't understand what Ice Cream's trying to prove here in a lot of his vlogs. There's a lot of misconceptions, a lot of things. Uh, going after Stunner Reese, for example, in this video, saying that, oh, he doesn't do anything with his money for charity, and none of them do, and it's not right. And, you know, first off, if they want to raffle off their cars, these guys are content creators. They're known for some of the cars that they build as far as being car content. Uh, the customizations they do, you know, it adds their brands that they have made themselves into and established, you know, sells cars, um, especially in a crazy car market like today. But I mean, you know, these guys are giving away SRT Jeeps and Hellcats and scat packs and, you know, vehicles like that. And, you know, giving these people out here, everyday listeners and followers a chance to have stuff that they wouldn't normally be able to have. Um, on top of that, you know, it was like Stunner's Jeep customized by him. Uh, some of the cars he's given away, customized personally by him. Um, you know, that has a value to it itself. But anyway, you know, when you do any kind of raffles, whether you're a business, an organization, whether you're an individual, you know, don't matter how you got the product, whether it's donated to you, whether you got it at a discount, whatever the case may be, or you paid full value for it. The goal is to make money. Um, you know, and why you're worried about how much money they're making off these raffles. It's not like all 18,000 subscribers are all buying tickets. Most of the times they do make money. Some of the times they break even barely, but at the same time, guys, what does it matter what they're doing with their money? You know, this is them being successful. If you're that worried about it, put that same energy into making yourself that successful and watch what happens. You know, you may be able to outdo them. Uh, but guys, at the same time, man, it's just going too far, you know, showing people's personal addresses. Like in this video, he shows Marty Mars apartment complex. 
Uh, even shows the website, tells people to call up and ask about their smoking policy because Marty Marr made a video smoking with a female friend in his apartment. I mean, what are you trying to do? Essentially getting kicked out? I mean, come on, man. This is going too far. Not to mention your picture there on the thumbnail. You know, yeah, I know you're showing somebody else's vlog, but I mean, come on, man. That is borderline if it's not actually crossing the line of being offensive and uh, insensitive. I mean, you know, are you not paying attention to the times we live in, guys? Um but at the same time, I mean, you know, he's, he's just going way too far with his obsession with these YouTubers. Um, and, you know, we're going to clear some of this stuff up because most of these misconceptions are cleared up with facts that you find in the B-roll footage and the footage when they're parked, when they're driving, uh, not in the climax footage that's in the thumbnail, not in the exciting footage or, you know, not in the main footage of the video. A lot of these things are cleared up by just paying attention to their entire videos and you'll get the facts guys. And we're going to put out some of that information. We're going to show the, show the facts and clear up a lot of these things going on. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for checking out the channel, guys. I'm going to release some videos here soon. Uh, got a one or two dropping to kind of catch things up to where we are now. And then we're going to kind of drop as he drops guys. We're going to, you know, give it a chance to kind of clear up some different misconceptions and things going on, guys. And thank you guys for your time and watching this channel, and we'll see you soon.